Okay, hi, I'm Jeffrey Bellamy. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about estimated tax payments and self-employment tax. It's my goal to get less business by having people not owe taxes. Our tax system is a pay-as-you-go, so right now I'm an employee. And as an employee, when I make $1,000, I get a check for $742. The reason I get a smaller check is because my employer has withheld my federal income tax, my state income tax, and half my Social Security and Medicare. When I'm self-employed, then I get to be the employer and the employee. So I have to withhold my own federal income tax, my own state income tax, and both halves of Social Security and Medicare. And those both halves of Social Security and Medicare are what is termed self-employment tax. That comes to 15.3%. So for every $1,000 you have as net income, if you're self-employed, you owe $153 to the IRS just to cover your Social Security and Medicare aside from any income tax. The first question that comes to mind to people is, how much do I pay? You know, I'm not paying because I don't know how much to pay, and how often do I pay? So how much you pay has two choices. One is called the 100% rule, and one is the 90% rule. The 100% rule works like this. Look at how much taxes you had last year. If on your last tax return it said your total taxes was $12,000, then this year you should be paying $12,000 in estimated taxes. The IRS requests those to be paid quarterly. I suggest to most of my clients that they do it monthly. The reason is the amount is smaller. What happens at the other extreme is that they don't pay anything until they file their taxes. Then they find out they owe $12,000 and say, I don't have $12,000. So instead, they pay $1,000 a month, it's easier to pay. The 90% rule is useful if what you're making this year is not like what you made last year. So if you only are earning half as much this year, it doesn't make sense to be paying the IRS all this money for the taxes from the previous year since you're not going to owe that much. Just pay 90% of what you're going to owe and then make up any little difference when you file your return. By the same token, if you are making twice as much money, it doesn't really help you to pay the taxes that you would have owed last year. If everybody understood estimated taxes, then we would probably lose half of our business. So I'd say that half of people that end up owing money owe money because of estimated taxes.